Welcome back, everybody, to American Outback. Here on Farming Simulator 17, here on Mr. Blue Farms. Uh, it's hot out here, folks. He's dug up, uh, let's see if I get the display up. What is the sugar beets here? Already. We are ready. Uh, let's see, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Let's check it out. Oink, oinks. The little piggy here, the little piggy there. Wait a minute. They're not little no more. Oh, my God. I'm feeding them too good, ain't I? Uh, I was in the process of collecting some of the eggs so I can get the display there knocked down. So, uh, <laughs> so folks, uh, on this episode, uh, you have to forgive me. I kind of forgot where we was at. Let's take a look at our map real quick, see what we need to do. Oh, we need to do the harvest, that's it. Because now I own 19, 18, and 17, as you can see. Canola, soybeans, and what is it, wheat? Yes, wheat. We have three fields of wheat, folks. Oh, wow. So, let's uh, get busy. As you can see up here. I got some tractors already up here. I uh, don't think y'all are familiar with this one. It's the uh, New Holland T7 Heavy Duty. With uh, an ice field fertilizer rig. And then we got this baler right here. We're going to bale square bales. We got another bigger fertilizer rig back here on the uh, 8530 and we got the 7930 back here it's going to pull the baler uh, let's see here we can't do none of that until we get the combine growing here oh we're on my combines at oh better get these going so folks, how y'all doing today? I'm being brewed. Y'all doing all right? Oh my God, he would be way down here. Well, it's glad to see y'all doing all right. I'm doing hunky doing it myself. Four and uh, oops, one, two, three, four, five. So right there, five and five. Now I got one trip down here. Do I not have? Uh oh. I don't folks just doing it again. I don't be right back. Alright folks, is that better? I'm doing an OBS studio and I still ain't quite got the settings down right, but I think this is gonna be better. I hope so. Uh let's see, I also want to shorten our uh inspector mod there. Um I don't think I have the combat yet. Uh, let's go to the garage. I, I'm so unprepared for Monday, folks. It's a typical Monday. Everybody having to go back to work. Um, pretty much have to go back to gaming. Uh, good Lord, it's solar panels. Let's see, I do not. Um, oh Lord, what happened? Uh, they got auto save. I got a lot of stuff. I don't have no. Oh, I got the headers. I'm gonna go look around at the uh, farm shop. I get closer than that. 
Pretty daggum bad, folks. That's bad when you don't know you got a combine or not. The big bud there, the plows. There's the grain buggies. I sure don't see none. Then I, I think I said I was going to keep the headers and get new combines, didn't I? I could have sworn I had them all. Wow, poor management I got, folks. Um, tell you what, let's go into the combines. There are some new combines I want to try. Uh, since we got this much money. And that's all I got. Yeah, okay. Um, wow. I guess we're going to go with the New Hollands, folks. Um, lease? And I sure don't have enough money to buy them. Uh, let's lease them. Yes. And we're going to lease another one. And then we're going to lease this bad boy right here for ninety-five dollars. Wow. This is probably going to be a little OP, but let's see. I need a header for him because we got two at the shop. I need another one for him. So we'll go with that. We'll, have, we'll go ahead and buy that header. And that still gives us quite a bit of money. Good. Alright. Now i got to get something to bring those headers back down here, folks. So let's get the combines first. Alright. Now this is a... I can't believe my mod didn't take. I inserted a mod. It's supposed to be a combine just like this. But it's supposed to be the uh, John Deere version of this. Wow. Uh, I'm not going very far, so I think I'll be alright with the header down. If I can get out of the driveway. I'm just going right back here. But I want to step in that long field. Actually, I need to get oh. I need to get oh, I'll never make it down this road. I'll never make it. And then I might. Let's, let's go over here. What I want to do is get over here to fill 17 with the trucks are at. I'll go ahead and get uh, busy laying down the straw with this one. Since that's wheat, I know this combine here will hold it. 
Oh, oh, I don't want to hop over here. I want to the combine. I'm almost tempted to stop the recording. Whoa, 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 wait. Get back in the bushes here. And there's BGA plant. I think this is the field here, right? No, there's one more field. Let's go a little bit further, folks. Now I want to do that straw field first. That won't get everybody working. And y'all probably like, why ain't you mentioning Colin Julian? Well, you know, like I said, I don't want to burn it out, but if y'all want to stop by, give the dude some likes. Uh, I think he'd really appreciate that. I'd appreciate it too. You know, I want you to uh, subscribe, like, and, and comment on my videos too, but yeah, it's kind of like he's my sidekick. I know he's like, I don't know, he's probably a good hour and a half from here, maybe somewhere in that area. So I need my F1 on here. Uh, Straw whip should be on. Oh, this is probably going to be ridiculous fast. Let's just see if we put down straw. Oh, yeah. 15 mile an hour. Let me hire work. Whoa. not put down straw. He's putting down straw with. But why is it not showing? It's invisible, I don't know. Holy cow. Woo, that's gonna be rough. That's gonna be rough. See, can I slow them down? I'd say about nine mile an hour. Just gonna watch them for a few minutes here, folks. See, I slowed them down to nine mile an hour and see if that's gonna help anything. And as you can see inside the cab, it's pretty much the same, just different colors. Oh, we got a CB radio or two way radio. Cool. Okay, he's putting down straw now. Good. All right. Only thing about it, my haters are way down south. Um. Come on. Maybe I got to bring them up here real fast. Big bud. Uh, yeah, what does that do this? Like I said, I wasn't really prepared on this, folks. Uh, I thought I had everything set up 
from the last time I recorded, which was what, a week ago. I ain't been on this map since. And, uh, I usually play it a little bit beforehand to uh, make sure everything's where I need to be. But I just, like, you know, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, 1.18 a.m. I need to record. Uh, yes, it's Saturday night. I didn't have no hot day or nothing. And uh, so, spent time with the kids, though. And uh, yeah, we had a good time. Uh, got them to sleep, so uh, now, like, I need to get a couple of videos out. Uh, Saturday night, Sunday morning, I'll figure out, uh, record Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays tonight. Where are my headers? Three gallon away. Right there they are. Let's see, let's see. He's only got fourteen percent so far, so that will be okay. We'll get this header up there and uh, let me get my map up. Well, up, oh, they go going across the road there. Across this big old bridge, I hate. No guardrails. Man, you imagine getting sleepy at night, running over at mayonnaise, the white line. And you, you wake up and you jerk to the right real quick instead of the left and wham! Right off and there you go. What the? Wow! Do change the subject a little bit. Uh, am I nervous about Tuesday? Tomorrow? Yes. I'll go get three more teeth pulled. And, yeah, I'm still hurting from the ones that, see, I'm just going to unhook it right there, part right here, look, over here, get one of these. Go ahead and unfold. I guess I'll put this in, in the soybeans. Well, Mr. Hitch, Mr. Grinch. Whoa, wait. Let's don't talk about Christmas right now. But yeah, I still got a stitch. He, he's wanting me to do salt water. About eight ounces of warm salt water. Uh, eight ounces of water warm with two tablespoons of salt in it and gurgle my mouth out with that or actually he said hold it there for a little bit on those uh, area that was you know had the stitches in it and do that about eight times a day until I go back to them uh, he said that was tough for my gums up. So I'm like, okay, you know. Well, I was supposed to wait till that night. Oh, Lord, I'm in the wrong field again. Go down to here and start. 
But anyway, you know, I waited that night. Uh, goggled for the first time. Well, rinse my mouth out, whatever you want to call it. And uh, wasn't too bad. So I've done it the next day about, about five times, you know. I slept a lot. So. And next couple of days I've done that. And, uh, you know, a stitch came out. Well, I pretty much cut it out. And it started bothering me. And I don't know if that caused a chain reaction or not, but a couple of days later, I'm like, you know, this is hurting. It's hurting bad. So, I had to take the kids to the dentist anyway, so, uh, I mean, you run a 15 tree. I'll actually get some crops done. Uh, I'm gonna drive this over here. I'm gonna get the truck. But anyway, I cut the second stitch out, and I felt so much relief. I'm like, oh my god, it feels so much better. So, uh, finished my stuff, and uh, like I said, the kids had to go get their dentist appointment taken care of. And uh, they pretty much just took x-rays, got filed, paperwork done, and told them to come back, you know, on a... I can't remember the date. Oh, they go back the same day I do. Uh, but, man, that means slam on the brakes that fast. But they go back the same day I do, and they go in the morning time, and I go right after them. So, yeah. The uh, boy, he's got a baby tooth that's wanting to hang on for dear life, and it's causing him some pain, so they're going to try to fix that. And my baby girl, all she needs, oh, the lag is real. Oh, oh, whoo. Now that was lucky. I'm getting a lot of lag, folks. Shall see this. Come on, OBS. Elgato's didn't have this problem. Ha! <laughs> now it wants to take off. Woo! I think it's the hay bales right there. But my fan's kicking in on my computer. Now this is a Hewitt Packer. Uh, Hewitt Packer Computers Windows 10 Home Edition. And it's running. Oh, I can't remember all the details. I, I had it wrote down, but it's a 6 gigabyte. I'm pretty sure that's the biggest Walmart has in stock where I'm at. Uh, I was wanting like an 8. It was like uh, almost $900 for it. A touch screen and all that. But they didn't have that in stock. They said that they wouldn't be getting none no time soon. And I'm like, oh, how am I going to make videos without a computer? So I went ahead and got the 6 gig. I can't remember the RAM and stuff, but uh, it's been doing a pretty good job so far. Um, the actual monitor that came with that computer got busted by me and my son and the horse playing with the ball and it busted and uh, so yeah Boo uh, J Boo uh, gave me uh, this small monitor that they had and 
folks, I mean, it's it's small. Let's see. Soybeans, 75, that's 38. I gotta get those auger wagons up here. I have to use uh, semi trucks or something. Okay. I'm gonna with him. But anyway, I'm using this little small monitor. And um, I don't want to say no names right now. But I'll possibly be getting a uh, monitor from one of my fellow YouTubers. I really want to thank him. And uh, as soon as everything gets. Uh, Signed, sealed, and delivered. I'm gonna, you know, ask him how he wants to be recognized. If he wants to be recognized, I'm pretty sure he does. But some folks don't. Oh god, I hate that whistle. You don't hear that? Anyway, I got to get. Do I have it under this? one yay oh 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 get him out and there's the other one and we're gonna make this plain and simple folks hopefully if we're gonna park him right there Getting this bad boy. Oh, right there we go. Oh, I love these 85 30s. They're nice. Control F. I need to hook up with that plow. I got plow up there too, but we'll do that on the next episode. You gotta take it nice and slow. Uh, what are the low? It's not nice. It's slow, but it's not nice. Oh. There we go. It's really draining that CPU. Turn these lights on. All right, folks. Um, I just totally forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I was talking about the monitors and stuff. Yeah, I don't know what size this one is. It's I need to measure it. Probably a, a, a twelve or fifteen inch monitor. I mean, you have to really squinch to see what's on it. But uh. Yeah. Anyway, I am don't mean to yawn, folks, but been a long day. Didn't sleep good last night. Having terrible dreams about my legs and uh, some other stuff in life been going through. But uh, dream last night, you know, I'm diabetic and. I do have problems in my legs and I had a dream from my knees down to my ankles was nothing but red jello. I was laying in bed and my kind of my legs was hurting. Folded the cover back and it was nothing but red jello. I'm like, <gasps> what the? And uh, yeah. I 
All right, I know this one's almost done, so let's see how we can keep up here. Go ahead and empty him out first. I can catch them. Good Lord. Hey, the speed's already set. Yay, that's what I like. probably end up buying a combine folks but right now I'm just going to lease them because I really like to have a CR 1090 the John Deere edition of it that sucker's sweet way it looked You are empty, so control L. Then I'm going to get out. Control F. I'm going to go take this one over to the wheat. Actually, I should have. Change plans, change plans. Don't take off yet, don't take off yet. Click on the helm, yeah. I forgot about the other combine over there, folks. I got two combines sitting. Not good. Totally not good. Actually, I just got one combine set and one about halfway needs to be unloaded. Now that's what I call teamwork right there. I'm just going to park this guy under this one for right now until he gets unloaded. And then I'm going to take this one over here. And he's still going. Yay! He's still going. I know that's kind of cheaty, folks, but hey. It's just the farming simulator, right? It's not really, it's simulating farming, but it's not quite all the full benefits of farming or something like that. I don't know, I'll probably just stuck my foot in my mouth, but my God, look how big that header is. What, huh? What she said. Huh? What? Uh-uh. I definitely have to keep it PG-13 because I do have a lot of kids watching my channel, so yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah, I slowed him down to nine, didn't I? There we go. That's what I need to do the other two then. This guy would have finished this whole field, folks. But one thing about it, I should get a full, good dump from him. Gross. You know, not that kind of dump, folks. Look, see, I'm getting filled up. Yeah, get good. I can never say that right. Y'all hear that, folks? Y'all hear that? That's my computer fan. The cooling fan kicked in. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna get completely filled up. Oh, you would. No, I am full. Alright. Well, let's get out on the highway, I guess. Stupid bushes. I wish we could trim them. Should be an attachment you can get for the uh, the track hole, the cat track hole excavator, and uh, fix it like a mower where you mow the bushes and stuff. And it'd be nice if it had ditches and stuff where water would drain. I know I'm asking for too much. Oh my goodness. I didn't put the top down. That's what I say, you want to open? Just don't dump it on the ground, that's all I ask. Mr. Blue, you probably just jinxed yourself. Yeah, probably did. Yay, it's going in. Alright, where is this? Oh, this is, uh... Yeah, our bell truck. What happened to it? It was backed up straight. And this guy, where I got this guy? Oh, okay. He's over here. And I forgot these. Uh, likes to leave those little strips. Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm trying to catch up. Just give me a minute. Ah, oh. uh, I need to go catch the other one. It's got more in it. Get you sudden. Oh man, he fell right there. Close your eyes, everyone. Everybody that has that, uh, o o OPD, OCD, or whatever it's called, I can't keep it straight. You know, you gotta keep everything uh, by the books and clean and everything else. Yeah. I'm kind of like that in a way, but, oops, wow, he actually turned around, alright, we're going to need, he might hold the rest of it, I don't know, uh, go over here and get this truck right here, this truck needs to be for, this combine in a way. Because this sucker here holds a hundred thousand liters. My Mr. Blue truck right there from Kentucky only holds sixty-five. Park it right there. Mm, let's see here. Almost filled me up. One thing about it, uh, that big truck will hold two dumps from this, so 
we might have to just let my trailer go back and upgrade. Which I, I think I still got the other trailers. They're just at the shop yard. Oh, getting too close. I'm full anyway. Put the back back in. I'm just trying to get out of your way. Go look at this combine a little bit. Uh, since I slowed him down to about nine mile an hour, folks, I kind of, kind of like it, except for the purple around it. Get a little purple square, blue, whatever that don't get dirty. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like that header there too. Like a good head. Yeah, really do. Wait, what? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, man, I forgot about that. I forgot he was uh, dumping his load everywhere. Ah, what are you doing? Do you know? Uh, I have to drive it, folks, because it will not work. little bouncy up in here. Oh man. Makes big old piles of show. Get this a little bit I missed. Can't believe I done that. Oh wasn't very much, okay. Getting that over. One tricks and be fool. Oh, I can't believe I didn't hit him. Almost did him. Let's see if I can unload good. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now this was an actual reel. This driver here would stop, back up to like right here, and then uh, yeah. But anyway, or.
Just gonna go around him real fast. Our worker. Still unloading? Good lord. Uh oh. Ace for. Address this on him. I don't know. On there, that's why. Okay. Really not supposed to unload on this side, but if you got the height, you can. But if you look at the grain cart, it's higher on that side. But here we we don't have no problem with the height. So. Uh, all right, I'm gonna put him over in the canola. And we got about 12 minutes left, so there we get everybody over here. Knock his field here out in no time. Hopefully. I guess I'm going to drive him back down this way. I wish this did have, uh, like, what's this now come out for testing and stuff. It's a, uh, like, a Bluetooth system between the grain buggy and the combine. The driver of the combine can summon the grain cart. And uh, it'll go from wherever it's at in the field. I think it's got to be in the field. But it can come wherever it's at and... Uh, pretty much pull under the spout and not even have to worry about anything. All the drivers gotta do is keep an eye on it and stuff, you know. Make sure it stays running good. Alright, now. Whoa. No. I'm just gonna go ahead and get him out of position. Hey, you Pulling that in front of me. This one here, I can't remember how wide it is, so I'm gonna get to that here in a little bit. We still got beans unloading. He's done made it down. Let's see. Get to the other combine. So basically with these bigger combines, we can just put one in each field and basically don't have to worry about that. I'm going to start this one on this side. Maybe I need to go get that 90 foot header. It's like three of these and one. Uh, I had to go back and watch Diesel's uh, episode there where he uh, got it from but there we go all right I don't know the bank is stuff into the uh, silo or go ahead and sell it because I do need money to buy that combine
but I also need money to buy some more fields. You know what I mean? I can take what money I got, sell the crops I got, get done harvesting what I'm doing, and, uh, uh oh, filled up already. Back him up a little bit. Okay, I need to uh, switch over to my tractors. What? Go ahead and empty this guy here. Like I said, I don't, I don't know what I'm really debating. I think I take what's left out of that grain cart and bring it down here for the pigs. Uh, just dump it in the mixer. Because we, we got a lot of the grain, I think, down there, so... We can just do it that way. And I think that was wheat. He's going to cut across the field. Oh. How did I know it's going to go for a pole and not through the middle? These are pretty large fields, uh, but I'm thinking about this end up here, I have nothing but soybeans in them, like soybeans and canola. Whoa, no. Slow down. Because that way, you know, won't have to worry about the straw being so far up here and have carrying all the bales back we are going well we are going to have to get the double back uh, flatbeds to come up here uh, next episode come in I'm probably going to do course play on this field to rake the straw up. Alright, that's probably about half a load there, wasn't it? I forgot to look what was in it. So see now we got about about four minutes left. And basically got two empty grain carts here. Whoa, wow, whoa. Yeah, he's empty. We got one at eleven percent and two of them at a hundred percent. 
and the ones that's yellow down there at the bottom is ones I'm talking about, folks. Come on, Junior, follow me. Uh, we got Colin on the new combine and the two regular CR 1090s is going to be J Boo and Boo. Let's see here. One's right here, and where's the other one? Oh, right across the road. Okay. Alrighty. Well, it should get this knocked out in no time. I won't even have to worry about dumping the middle one. Dumping. I'm gonna get this one over here. So it looks like we're gonna get about three fields done this time around, folks. There we go. This guy right here. Probably going to be in the same spot again. So I'm just going to leave him right here. Yeah, this is going to be the interesting part. Let's see. He didn't cut the path, so he's turning this away. Should be enough room there, and they should get the same, you know, be able to get it in the same swap or whatever you want to call it. Half through. At least these guys turn around better than what they did on on that one on the uh, Westbridge Hills uh, yesterday. Guys, way. Woo! That was perfect. Oh, man. Yeah, he won't be able to get all that. Okay. Be alright. This guy gets back to that end. We'll empty him out. And uh, let the big one over there, let Colin uh, finish up that middle spot there. All right, folks, while they're doing that, I'm going to do this real quick. And that would be turned the opposite way. Let's see, I'm do that real quick. I want to get the path, auto uh, thing, turn that around. We want to spread this over here a little bit. And about right there, looks like it's a full path. So control W and that line me up. And then I'm going to hit B to hire a worker. And voila, you didn't overlap very much. So yeah. Take this down here. I 
let's see, and we got two fields of wheat here, looks like. Yeah, folks, I am out of time. Oh my god. I'm going to swap through all that. Tell you what, I'm gonna break this guy here loose. Yep, he'll take the whole kit and caboodle. I see. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do it like this. See if he'll take that much down. Well, what do you know? You got full right there. At least that way he'll be going down that way and then should come back this way. I need to speed him up too. Wow. I need to slow down or get better brakes. Let's see here. Let's speed him back up to his original speed. And this guy turned around perfectly. And since he can take all that on the way back, I'll just switch him over. And folks, I guess I'm going to leave it with you. I'm going to finish this field right here. Is I'm iron four minutes over, or four minutes over the iron right now. Uh, I'm pretty much just going to get these guys set up for the week. And I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to, uh, don't know what I'm going to do with the grain stuff. Uh, Okay, I'm going to stop you too. Okay. F1. And A will straw width. Get you right here. But yeah, folks, uh, seriously past time, so just going to check these out right here. All right. That guy should be coming pretty close. But, folks, uh, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm up to, uh, at the time I'm recording, 166 subscribers and climbing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means so much to me. Yeah, I need to watch my speed. Oh, that was perfect. I ain't worried about that spot right there. Get him over to here. Higher. Get this guy unloaded. Um, like I was saying, if I can get 54 people, uh, uh, my people to go over. Oh, come on now. And uh, say that you came from my page and subscribe to John, Colin Julian. Oh, John. Colin Julia Vlogs has a link be down below in the description. Um, there we go. Uh, sub to him. If I can get 54 people to say that they uh, came from my channel to sub to his and get him at 150 subscribers, I'm going to do a pie on my face. 
and I just might go up to if I can get 54 people to say that they come from my page to go to his page to sub I will drive all the way up to Colin Julian's where he's located at and have him personally dunk a pie in my face or a cake whatever y'all prefer uh, as long as it ain't chocolate because I can't handle chocolate cakes and I think that would be an awesome collaboration since I didn't do a hundred sub special and I almost had 200 here you know what 34 somewhere around there subs to go but anyway yeah say Tommy Miller or you can say Mr. Blue sent me over to your page and I subbed and if I can get 54 people to say that or to get them to 150 subscribers folks I will drive all the way up to Colin Julian's house and have him throw a pie or a cake in my face of y'all's choice even if it's chocolate all right link be down below in the description and I need to start saying this in, in the front of the video so I can get some more people but I'm pretty sure everybody leaves my channel pretty quick but if you are watching this uh, which probably be Conrock uh, word for today is cake C-A-K-E cake but folks, I really appreciate it. Thank each and every one of y'all. I love y'all with all my heart. Y'all make this a whole lot more fun. I got so many comments and stuff now. It's unreal. But I got to go. I'm just going to finish this. Since this combine's bigger, I'm going to put him over there. Well, not bigger, but faster. I'll let these two little ones handle this field. And yeah. Alright folks, I'm gone. Love you. And adios. Bye.